Good morning everyone and welcome back. This session is for class 6th. Subject Social Science. Today we are going to start the new chapter of history. It is chapter number 12. And name of this chapter is Buildings, Paintings and Books. As we know that different rulers in our history, they met in during that particular time, they built different buildings and different books were also written during the past. So here we'll discuss about some of the buildings, paintings and books of the earliest time. It's going to be our lecture number one. And in this particular lecture, we are going to take first two topics, buildings and paintings. So, let's see the topics that we are going to discuss in today's lecture. They are, topics to be discussed are buildings and in buildings, the pa different subtopics that we are going to take are iron pillar, they are at uh, uh, Meheroli in Delhi. Then stupa, a religious place for Buddhist. As Hindus, uh, they are going to uh, temples to worship different Buddhist people, they go to stupa. And will also take temple with the different examples of the temples in earliest time. Then we will take paintings. And at last, obviously, the homework will be there. So, let's start the topics one by one. First is buildings. India focused importantly in the field of art, architecture, literature and science under its various rulers. So, uh, different Indian rulers at the time of their time period different uh, uh, you can say the art architecture literature and science it was really progressed some of the uh, rulers even they were interested there in art and architecture clear so uh, india's india's progressed basically that importantly in the uh, field of art architecture literature and science that really improved there during the time of different rulers. The buildings such as stupa and temple show the skill of country's craft persons. These buildings were made of bricks and stones. Our craft persons in the ancient time they were very skilled people and that skilled obviously that has been shown there in different buildings like stupa and temples. So, we are going to discuss about these buildings, stupa and temples and these buildings were made up of bricks and stones. So, let us see these three examples, iron pillar will take, then stupa with example and temples the dip with example. Iron pillar, very important remarkable sign that in, uh, in Delhi and it was made at the time of Gupta's dynasty and very important thing about this iron pillar is it has not been rusted till now means is pe ab tak jang nahi laga hai. it is made up of iron then also it is not rusted so let's see about the iron pillar the iron pillar is one of the remarkable example of the skill of Indian craft persons. As I told you very important thing about uh, iron pillar that it has not been rusted till now. It is at Mehroli in Delhi. Its height if you talk about it, it is 7.2 meters and weight over 3 tons means 1 ton that is equal to 1000 kg kilograms. So, it is even over 3 tons more than 3 tons and height 7.2 meter. <coughs> Number 4, it is built about 1500 years ago. 
so the time period when it was built 1500 years ago and the amazing thing about this pillar is that the pillar has not rusted as i already told you and one of the inscription that is uh, that is found there on the pillar and here on that inscription the word chandra is written and that really uh, belonged to the time period of uh, the chandragupta from gupta dynasty so it was built at the time of gupta dynasty this is all about iron pillar where it is situated what is the uh, height and the weight how when it was built what uh, is the amazing thing about the iron pillar as we you know that this chapter will be taken as a pen paper test so each and every line can be a question so uh, there whenever uh, you are listening the lecture you take the rough notebook also and frame short question side by side so that you can prepare the chapter for pen paper test next is this is stupa the religious building of buddhist now stupa means mount if we talk about the uh, literally means of stupa this is mount there is small box in the center of or heart of stupa in the center of this building one small box is kept and over that box then the mud is uh, then spread uh, over the mud the bricks are used to make the building now let's see what is this small box known is known as and what is kept there in this small box this small box is known as relic casket relic means avshesh remains so here in this small box the different remains of buddha and his followers they are kept so the box is relic casket now this box is containing bodily remains of buddha and his followers or things they used so uh, remains bodily remains means teeth the ashes bones they were kept they are kept there in relic casket and also uh, different things used by buddha and his followers like uh, precious stones or coins that they were using they are kept in relic casket and this relic casket that was then placed in the center of stupa this box is covered with mud and on the top the bricks are used and the building is built so this is all about the meaning of stupa and the complete structure how it is built from the center from the starting what is kept the and till the complete building now there on this building one very important path also there important path see that is par dakshina path a path laid around this stupa around this building there is one path that is known as par dakshina path and this par dakshina path basically that uh, the devotees who visit there to stupa they take a round there around this par dakshina path clockwise in the clockwise direction so this path was surrounded by railings on the path different uh, the railings are uh, laid down and the people or the devotees they take round there devotees walked around the stupa in clockwise direction as i told you and gateways are entrance to these paths to go to these paths to take around different gateways are given there and these gateways or the railings 
these all things basically they are uh, different uh, uh, they are gifted by different devotees there here one example also will take of stupa that is sanchi stupa they are in madhya pradesh and this sanchi stupa in madhya pradesh was built at the time of ashoka so this is all about the stupa how it is built the complete structure and uh, the and how the devotees they take round the in at pradakshina path and example is sanchi stupa in madhya pradesh next is temples temple that is known to everyone that is the religious place for hindus the hindus they go to temple to worship the deities or gods many temples were also built in the past so as stupas were built so many temples were also built and in these temples basically the deities like uh, in the past when bhakti period was started uh, god shiva vishnu and goddess durga they were worshiped so different temples of these deities they were built in the past the main deities or gods worshiped at the time were shiva vishnu and goddess durga so as in chapter 10 also we discussed about them there were different parts of temple if we talk about the temples there were different parts described of the temple let's see those parts the main parts of a temple number 1 griha griha an important part of the temple where image of chief deity was placed this was the place where priests perform rituals here r i t u a l s will come on the place of y u will come so griha griha was very important part in the temple where the image of chief deity main god it was placed and the priest they performed rituals the and devotees they also worshiped the deity the uh, main part the important part then second is sikhar tower built on the top of the griha griha was known as sikhar you might have seen that all the temples now also uh, they have sikhar or choti you can say so these sikhar basically are sign of sacred place as temples are sacred place for hindus so sikhar is symbol of that only and this sikhar that is basically now also it is built on the top of griha griha where the chief that is image that is kept so during that time also the sikhar top tower of the temple that is that was built on griha griha the third main part mandapa a hall in the temple where people could assemble was called uh, mandapa clear so here uh, mandapa you will add here uh, mandapa the third important part it was hall like room in which the people they could assemble uh, for different uh, uh, ritual like havan in which different people they participate so these were the important parts or the main parts of temple <coughs> now examples of earliest temple there are different examples are given in your book of the temples like temple of bhitar gaon in uttar pradesh it was built about 1500 years ago so this is uh, the example of earliest temples that was built near about uh, 1500 years ago and it was built with baked bricks and stones then the next example we can take example of monolithic temples at bhitar at mahabalipuram these were carved out of huge single piece of stone monolithic temple basically means a temple which is carved out 
फ्रॉम अ सिंगल ह्यूज स्टोन मीन्स एक बड़े स्टोन में से बनाए हुए सो दीज मोनोलिथिक टेम्पल्स एट महाबलीपुरम दोज वर काव्ड फ्रॉम वन सिंगल ह्यूज स्टोन दैट्स वाई दे आर नोन एज मोनोलिथिक टेम्पल्स सो दिस इज ऑल्सो एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वन ऑफ एग्जा दीज आर ऑल्सो एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द अर्लीएस्ट टेम्पल्स नाउ दुर्गा टेम्पल एट आईहोल बिल्ट अराउंड फोर्टीन हंड्रेड ईयर्स अगो आई होल इफ यू रिमेंबर इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैव टर्न इट वॉज कैपिटल ऑफ चालुक्यास सो दुर्गा टेम्पल इट वॉज बिल्ट द इन चालुक्या डायनेस्टी नियर अबाउट फोर्टीन हंड्रेड ईयर्स अगो इट वॉज बिल्ट बाय पुलकेश इन सेकेंड सो दिस वर आर डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ टेम्पल्स गिवन इन योर बुक नाउ हाउ वॉज टू पास एंड टेम्पल्स बिल्ट means who were building them were this uh, the easy task for the common people to build or it was very expensive uh, that it was built by only kings or queens yes it was very expensive task and it was decided by kings or queens only to build stupa and temples there were basically firstly they were searching a fine quality of stone after then uh, the complete process they were doing different skilled people they were having and those skilled people they were paying the salaries also so this uh, building of stupas and temples was very expensive task it was very expensive task so kings or queens decided to build these buildings they spent money for that from their treasury to pay the craft persons those were the skilled people for building these important buildings good quality of stone is used in these buildings firstly the first work it was done searching of good quality of stone then it was transported to the place where such uh, important building was built devotee who came to visit these buildings also brought gifts for decoration and the first thing it, they were built by uh, king or queen but later on <coughs> sorry <coughs> later on the gifts were brought by different devotees also like the example of uh, the different ivory workers it is it is given the gateway of sanchi stupa was given by ivory workers not only ivory workers there were different pe- other people were also giving gifts like the garland makers uh, and uh, merchants smiths perfumers they were also give, bringing different uh, decorative items for these buildings but firstly they were uh, decided by kings or queens only then paintings what type of paintings example the paintings of ajanta are world famous there in india they are they are different caves are hollowed out of the hills means firstly from the hills the caves are made and on the walls of these caves different paintings are made how these paintings are made most of these were monasteries of buddhist monk as we discussed the monasteries of buddhist monk and we discussed the that the uh, earlier these buddhist monks they were using the natural caves only as a shelter so these were the monasteries for buddhist monks then the walls of these caves were painted with the help of natural colors so these caves were painted with natural color natural colors made up of plants and minerals that uh, the natural color those were made up of plants and minerals only and uh, they were uh, made they were painted 
near about 1500 years ago one more important thing about these paintings they are decorated in the lights of torches at in the caves there was dark so they were painted with the help of the light of torches so this is example of ajanta caves and the paintings of ajanta caves they are in maharashtra they are world famous painting there in ajanta that we discussed here so this is all about the paintings given there in the chapter so with painting and buildings we have completed now and in buildings we have taken example of iron pillar stupa and temple so i hope that these two topics are clear to you now it's time for homework question number 1 is what do you understand by mandapa this is one of the important part of temple then second who used to decide to build the stupa and temples why what do you understand by the term griha griha again one of the part of temple then fourth is what is pradakshina path then fifth question it is what colors were used in ajanta caves paintings whose name is inscribed on the iron pillar at mehroli delhi and next question it is what is bitar gaon temple known for so uh, that you will write then what is sikhar all these short questions you will attempt and along with these questions you can frame your uh, even more questions there so that you can really uh, you can uh, revise this chapter for pen paper test as short questions will come in pen paper test so that's it for today we will be meeting with the next lecture of this chapter and with that chapter we are going to complete the chapter and then there will be the test so revise this much part that we have covered in today's lecture thank you and have a nice day